the, the very definition of above and beyond. Uh, so, as you know, this cruise is mostly about me. But as I was just saying to somebody who was walking into the room, tonight, tonight is about you, ladies and gentlemen. I just like listening to myself talk out of this very loud monitor, so I'm gonna do that for a little while. Um, uh, but the way this is gonna work is Adam Adam is going to actually run the laptop from the from the booth back there, uh, so that I don't have to touch the filthy computers because I don't do that anymore. And uh, I'm gonna stand here up at this podium, Hodgman style, and. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll make some witty comments. I'll probably uh, silently judge you. Or not so silently, who knows? I, don't, I do not have a gong with me, so it's not, uh, it's not gonna be that kind of show. <laughs> oh, is there, is there a gong show app? An app with the, that's just a gong? It's probably really loud when it comes out of the iPhone speaker. So, How's everybody doing? Maybe, maybe I'll work the crowd. I've always wanted to do this. Where, where are you from, sir? I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, that sounds terrible. And you, sir, where are you from? Ottawa. Ottawa. I see you wearing a level four t-shirt. Do you know what do you know what those symbols represent? Not a clue. Get off my ship. <laughs> and you young lady, where are you from? Madison, Wisconsin. That sounds even worse than Milwaukee, Wisconsin. <laughs> no, it's not. You're right, it's much better. Milwaukee is terrible. What is your what is your name? Leanne. Leanne, what do you do for a living? Nothing right now. Wow. That's wonderful news, Liam. Is that, is that by choice? Yes. Wow. What did you used to do? Project manager for software company. Project manager for a software company. Well, well, well. Did you, uh, what, I have so many questions, I don't know where to start. Did you quit, did you quit that job to do something else? Just not that. I think I understand. What kind of software was it that you were working on? Electronic medical records. Electronic medical records. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you. I don't, I don't have any other jokes, so I think that this works. I just moved on to another audience member. You, sir, what's your name? My name is Alex Bradley. Hello. How's, how's it going? It's going great. It's a fantastic outfit you have. I noticed you have a white. White bow tie. Is it white? Uh, is it a white vest under there? Yes. Yes, indeed. And a purple shirt. And a purple shirt. That's what. That's what I really admire. The purple shirt. You went with the vest instead of a cummerbund. Okay. Indeed, these are fine. <laughs> Tails. It's period. It's, it's period costume. Does it? Does anyone know? Do you know? Alex, the, 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 uh, I made a guess today. Do you know if the uh, the thing on a cummerbund does it go up or or down? Is it, it, that's what I was saying. It catches the crumbs. It doesn't deflect the crumbs. It, it absolutely catches the crumbs. Was it, uh, was the chum crumber bunny, what's it called? Crumber bunny, yes. Was it made as a crumb catcher? Is that true? Uh, sure. Okay. Hey, what song's good for what's going, What song is good for what? Vocal range. A bass vocal ring. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know either. Where did Adam go? Did Adam? Oh, he ran that Oh, Famous Blue That's a good point. Famous Blue Ranger. I don't think I have that one on here, though. That's a bummer. You could do, um. You do any of them off of Den. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Um, did Ma I, I assume uh, 
the only reason why people are here is because Molly Molly finished up. Yes. <laughs> She's terrific. I wish I wish that I'd been able to see the whole thing, but I had to come ha come down here and uh, to copy some files over to my laptop at the very last minute. Are are, are Brett uh, Brett and Jason here? My uh, my karaoke helpers. Uh, the I uh, you may I don't know if you saw on Twitter, but a few uh, not even weeks ago, like a week ago, last week. I said, hey, wow, that's funny. I didn't make any uh, karaoke files for my new album. Does anyone want to help me? Ha, ha, ha. And uh, the ha, ha, ha was a sort of not really a ha, 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 because I was serious, because I was touring. Uh, and I was in a van most days, and so I didn't think there was any way I could do it. So Brett and Jason were kind enough to... Uh, yes. Notice that the uh, the artificial heart songs are a little. Uh, some of them, some of them I did, and I I, uh, <laughs> I gave it my typical uh, B minus effort. That's how I do. That's how I do most things, and I, I barely knew how to use the software that I was using. So I apologize in advance for their ragged uh, and unpredictable nature. Uh, but I think we'll be able to, to get through it. Uh, I think in some cases, in most cases, probably, I did not do the thing where it tells you where to start, where it has the dots at the beginning where to start, so there's going to be some exciting touch-and-go moments tonight, but hey, it's karaoke, that's what it's all about. Okay. So, uh, Adam, do you have a microphone back there? Hello? Hi. Hey, it's Adam, everyone. Adam, I feel like talking to you without seeing your beard is a completely new experience for me. How about I rub my beard on the microphone when I help? It, it might. Uh, are we, uh, is our sign-ups uh, still in progress? Or sign are signups are still in progress. I'm, I'm just going to put one on here and then I'm going to come back out there so I can continue signing people up. Okay. Uh, what, are we, what are we looking at here? It looks like we're, we're talking about better. No, uh, actually, uh, that, that was... That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Colleen, Colleen is up first. And she is going down today. Colleen, where are you? Yes. Colleen. Colleen to the stage, please. Colleen, where are you? She's coming. <laughs> no, I, I did not do this one. I can tell because there's a graphic. This one is not me. Okay, Kelly, here we go. And I don't want that to be upset. So, we're going to move the sign-ups to back there, we see where those, those lovely people are waving, and I think, I think that that's the best place here to do it. Yeah. I scouted it out, so what, what I think we should have you do is just you, can, then the line can stand up and snake behind our leader here. You are the leader? All right, what, what was your, what's your, what, Randy, Randy. This should be the whole, the whole thing should be this. Should just be a very plain, uh, not very well planned out uh, conga line. Uh, Adam, Adam, uh, do we have somebody next on the queue? Can I speak to Adam's beard? Maybe that was obvious to you. It's really awesome. And it's Pierre back there on the lights. Fantastic lighting cue there. Nice job, Jay. Who, who do we have next, Adam? We have Katie. Katie, please come to the stage. Katie. Katie, Katie everyone. Hi, Katie. Before I start, can I yeah. ask you a question? Sure, ask me a question. About this. Oh, Anyone who comes up on stage may ask me one question, I will answer it truthfully. <laughs> Uh, 
say yes. Yeah, if you... You just take and take and take, don't you? Yeah, if you've already sung and you have a question, sure, we'll do that. After, after this song, though. Okay. Um, I'm assuming this song was written for, like, in the instance of the child was being born. Is that correct? So that is correct. It was my child. Okay. I figured, because that would be a really nice thing to do for someone else's child, but for you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Maybe not so nice to do for your own child. Oh. Yeah. But I'm going to oh, sing boy. it for my husband, because I think it can work for that, too. Sorry. Here we go. I agree the sentiment can apply to a baby or a non-baby. <laughs> uh, uh, does anyone know how long we have tonight? Because I sure don't. 2 a.m. Nice try. Actually, we do have till 2. Is that true? <laughs> Holy Shinola. Is that before or after the time change? I don't know. That's it. It changes at two. Dun, Wait dun, dun, a minute. Dun. We have till three. Wow. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Okay. In that case, if anybody who has sung already has a question that they would like to ask me, they may do so now. Jay? No. Jay, Jennifer, <laughs> Jennifer. You know about it. Jennifer, Jennifer, did you have a question? The Warren family, did you have a question? No, nobody has a question. Okay. <laughs> nobody cares about old Johnny Colton. What's next, Adam? <laughs> I'm fine. I, I have, have a question. Nicola. Jonathan, I have a question. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Adam. Why are you so awesome? <laughs> I'm not going to answer that question. I reject the premise. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, oh, and on that note, Jim, you're next. <laughs> Jim! How are you, Jim? Daddy. Turks. <laughs> what are you going to be singing for us this evening? No question. No, no, no pressure. No pressure. Uh, I don't know. I'm your moon. I'm your moon. Can I ask you a question? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got the question. I forgot about the question. Stop what you're saying. Go ahead, go ahead. So I, I was completely convinced your wife got sick, divorced you, and then died. Uh, the, the theme of your latest album? Uh, yeah. Can, any insights? The, the name of it? The theme. Oh, the theme of it, sure. Uh, the, uh, no, my wife is fine. I am fine. Our marriage is fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> it's true. I say that and people think I'm joking, but it's true. I, 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 the, there are some darker themes on this album, uh, for sure, and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I have turned 40. And then 41. That happened soon after 40. And uh, I have noticed among uh, m many friends that uh, the, the, the process of turning 40 seems to be kind of a rough one. There seems to be a lot of freakouts happening. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it seems to be kind of a tough thing on relationships and careers and uh, psyches in general. Something about that zero at the end uh, kind of makes you think. And so I was thinking about a lot of those themes when I was writing, and I, I didn't I didn't set out to write a dark a dark album with a lot of you know horrible people in it experiencing horrible things, but um, it just sort of came out that way. So I don't know. Maybe maybe in a few years we'll discover what secret I've been hiding. Well, the beard hides your age very very well. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Would you like to sing your song now? I would like to. Okay. Yeah. It was wonderful. Now you've, been, now you've experienced the thing where you mess up the lyrics and the audience corrects you. It's fantastic. It's a, it's, a, it's a very effective safety net. I use it on most occasions. Adam, who do we have next? Next, we have Matt. Matt, who can we I don't know why Better's playing. That's, that's my fault. That's a mistake. Hi, hi Matt, how are you? Hi, I'm great. Good. Matt, do you have a question for me? You don't have to have a question for me. Um, no, but uh, thanks for writing all the awesome songs because I perform them sometimes. Oh, and really? I, I impressed my then 
date and then girlfriend and now wife with Ikea. Uh, That's great. What are you going to sing for us? Dance Soterius Johnson Dance. Oh. Uh, we have two versions. Do you know which version you picked? I think there's the, the rave up version and the. Uh, which one is more up tempo? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I seem to remember the rave one is, is slower. It's like a slower song yeah. than the acoustic uh, version, yeah. If the acoustic version is faster, I'll take it. You just like, you just like speed. Yeah, pretty much. This well, is fast. Much talk. less Satyrus Johnson who likes Red Bull and, and X. Right. I like. Yeah. You're in a similar uh, similar vibe. Yeah. yeah. Is uh is that uh, K Jam software freaking out back there, Andrew? Of course it is. Stretch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stretch. Right. Stretch. Oh, who knows any jokes about anything? You <laughs> What's that? that? This is a tenor saxophone read. <laughs> put that in your mouth. It's not mine. So. I make saxophone noises. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, uh, you could try uh, quitting the software. That's what I. Ooh. Option. Right? Oh, yeah, just right. Turn it off and back on again. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, is it plugged in? Is it plugged into the wall? There's a plug. Can't get tech support in this room? Yeah. Tech support in this room would be, uh, would be a kind of nightmare, actually. <laughs> Matt uh, correctly chose to ignore the uh, old lyrics. It's a completely different third verse. Apparently, apparently, in, in the earlier version, I said "whoa" somewhere in there, which I don't remember. I don't remember doing, and certainly does not sound like me. But I was younger then. Uh, nice, nice job, Matt. Uh, who is a uh, yes? Oh, hi, damn it, Liz. How are you? Good. I'm looking for Colleen Kennedy. Is she in this room? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Adam, who do we have next? Next we have Alex. Alex! Woo! Alex, everyone. Woo! How are you, Alex? You know, John? Yeah. Lay it on me, Alex. I'm good. Good, good. I'm good. I'm feeling good. I'm not singing this song, but... You're not singing this song? I'm not singing the D at all. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to say. But... I'm good. Okay. I'm gonna sing another song. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I'd sing something, uh, something different, something I know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know this one very well either, so... <laughs> I'm uh, sure it's lovely. I, I, <laughs> that's not that good. It's an old one. It's an old oh, yeah. one. It's weird. Do you, uh, uh, do you have a question for me? I'm going to get accused if I don't ask you if you have a question for me. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure I can think of one. Okay. Let's see. Well, again, you, nobody has to think of a question. It's just an opportunity. It's I don't want to be rude, though. I don't want to get up here and just sing and be yeah, like a monkey or anything. I don't want to participate and okay. talk with you. All right. How are you? Uh, <laughs> is, that, is that your question? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm good. I'm tired. I feel like I've been staying up too late and uh, drinking too much. And, uh, I gained about 15, 20 pounds on the on the on the They Might Be Giants tour. Mm. Feeling feeling kind of. I I saw you on the They Might Be Giants tour. Yeah. You were lovely. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. I I had these uh, tuxedo pants, uh, you know, altered to fit my pre-tour body, mm -hmm. and I did not put them on until tonight. <laughs> I was very surprised that somebody had given me the wrong pants. So, <laughs> the good news is my fat shorts fit just fine. So, silver lining, silver lining. Uh, so, sorry, Adam. We we we've, we've just been having such a nice time talking up here. It's fine. Is there a? Uh, what are you singing? What are you? Doing? I, I'm going to sing uh, the future soon. All right, by fantastic. Jonathan Colton. <laughs> <laughs> 
A lot of these songs are going to be by me, so. Have you ever heard of him? I've heard of him, yeah. He's the great big fat guy, right? He's quite great. <laughs> I saw him a few months ago. He looked a little slim, but now it's... Uh, yeah, he's a mess. He's really yeah. letting himself go. Uh, take it away. Crush, but crush, crush bones. Uh, Joe, that's mine. That's Adam's. Okay, great. Okay, this is going really well. Okay. Uh, the other thing is uh, uh, a, little, a little birdie. A pirate birdie. Told me that uh, it is Miriam's birthday. Is that true? Is Miriam here? Miriam, your birthday? Well, she did perform today. Can we? She's. <laughs> How old are you, Miriam? She's four. She's four. How old are you going to be at midnight? Five. Five. It is midnight right now. Is it the first she barely. Uh, here's what I here's what I would suggest. This is a karaoke night, so I, I would suggest that all of all of us sing Happy Birthday to Miriam. <laughs> I will start. Here's how it goes. You ready? Yep. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear karaoke version of I Crush Everything for our first song. We made sure not to mention what the title was to anyone because most of the people there didn't understand the Mobius themed wedding or the use of numerical constants for most of the table numbers. Well, we did the same thing. We did exactly the same theme and table numbers and song. So we, we actually, we, um, we uh, tried very hard to come up with uh, an appropriate first dance song. And uh, we, we, uh, we, couldn't, we couldn't find one that we really liked. And then ultimately, we both admitted to each other that we were both kind of dreading the first dance moment because it's such a weird, like, thing that you, it's, you know, it's the, the, a lot of wedding planning I find is people telling you what you absolutely have to do and how you absolutely have to do it. And we sort of resisted that impulse very strongly, in particular with the first dance thing. So we were both like, maybe we'll just not do the first dance thing. And so we decided to skip it. And then at the wedding, at the wedding we told the DJ, you know, uh, so, so we're gonna do this, this stuff and then there's not gonna be any first dance, so, you know, instead of doing the first dance, just start playing the music so that people can dance. And he, was, and he said, okay, and then, uh, and then when it was time for him to start playing the music, he said, ladies and gentlemen, there will be no first dance tonight. <laughs> Which is not the effect that we were really looking for. Everybody was very angry and upset. So we did not have a, we did not have a first song. That's, <laughs> I, maybe I put the punchlines in the wrong order there. Anyway, Lynn, what are you gonna sing for us tonight? Well, since I don't have the pathology song, I will be singing First of May. First of May.
No one's ever been corrupted after midnight. I apologize for the software, everyone. If it's having a problem, I can do a cappella of, um... I can do a blue sunny day. That's what I wanted to do. I was instructed not to. Well, I don't, I don't want to make you do an a cappella version no, of it. No, I'm fine with that. Really? Sure. Alright, it's okay with me. to make all these karaoke files. Oh, thank God, another pina colada. <laughs> thank you. It's Molly Lewis, everyone. <laughs> Jason. Jason. <laughs> Hi, Jason. How are you? It's really awkward hearing you there when you're there. <laughs> True story. <laughs> how do you think I feel? Uh, even more awkward, I was so stoked when Lynn said she was going to do First of May because I swore she was going to be the first person tonight to say fuck on the microphone in front of Miriam. Uh, but now that's me. Okay. So. <laughs> but it's in context. It's in context, so it's okay. Okay, yeah, no, it's fine. As long as there's a, a context, then I, kids don't mind. It's exactly. <laughs> it's just that the main thing is not to confuse children. By saying words that don't have any context. Right. Yeah. And I figure if my five-year-old says it to me, I can say it to you, and it's a circle of life. So that's how it is in their family. I'm good with this, okay? What to, do you, first of all, do you have a question for me? You're entitled to I'm question. pretty sure I've wasted your time enough at this point. <laughs> that's not a question, but okay. And there's the context. And, and here you go. All right, fantastic. John Nicole, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> seen a karaoke uh, song turn into a dance party. <laughs> well done, well done. Uh, who do we have next, Adam? Uh, he needs to get his microphone. He, he hears me. Hi. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. Jeff P. Jeff P. Jeff with a P. Jeff with a P. Hello, Jeff P. How are you? I'm good. What a strange, uh, a very unusual last name you have. You must have been teased a lot as a child. Uh, it's Posey, and I was. Okay. <laughs> Jeff, you're tall. I'm going to shake your hand, and I'm also going to uh, fix your right. microphone situation here. You're a tall man. I'll do that for you. I, I apologize for asking if you were fired, and that's why you became a musician. I realized that wasn't true yeah. at all. I was not fired. <laughs> Definitely not fired. I quit. <laughs> Huge big difference. <laughs> Jeff, do you have a do you have a question for me? You're entitled to one question that I will answer truthfully. Were you fired? I am gonna pass. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> what are you What are you gonna sing for us tonight, Jeff? Uh, let's just say somebody had to do it. Oh. Okay. Here we go. 